Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Akshay and we are going to talk about chest compressions during cardiopulmonary resuscitation in adults. The learning objectives of this module are to understand the series of steps in cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR, recognizing a cardiac arrest patient, to know the knowledge of the anatomy for, for, for performing the procedure, and the correct technique of chest compressions in order to maintain high quality. Now CPR is an emergency life-saving procedure in patients who present with cardiac arrest. Effective chest compression is the single most important component of CPR. Scene safety first. The first and the foremost important step is scene safety. Example, a patient in the middle of the road should be shifted to the side of the road before further evaluation. To identify a patient in cardiac arrest, you tap on the victim's shoulder and shout to identify unresponsiveness as demonstrated in the picture. If the victim is unresponsiveness, one must check the carotid pulse for at least 5 seconds before you confirm cardiac arrest. The carotid pulse can be checked by placing your fingers just lateral to the thyroid cartilage in the groove anterior to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This should be done for at least 5 seconds before you confirm cardiac arrest. Once cardiac arrest is confirmed, an emergency call should be made by the primary rescuer or any other person present on scene. Now the position of the rescuer is important before you start chest compression. The victim should be laid on a firm and flat surface and the rescuer should be by the side of the victim to maintain a comfortable position above the chest. The dominant hand should be placed on the chest wall first in the lower part of the sternum. The second hand should be placed over the first hand and the fingers interlocked and off the victim's chest. This is demonstrated in the pictures. The rescuer's shoulders should be directly on top of the victim's chest as demonstrated in the lower picture. Shoulders, elbows and wrist joints are fixed. Movement is at the hip joint only. The following video re-emphasizes the important points. The hand must be placed in the lower part of the sternum as demonstrated. The elbows are fixed with movement of the rescuer at the hip joint only. Depth of compression is about 5 to 6 cm which is roughly one third of the enteroposterior diameter. In order to maintain high quality of chest compressions, it is important to know the following points. Push hard and push fast, at least 5 to 6 cm in depth and 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Allow chest recoil between compressions. Minimize interruptions. Rotate compressors. And sinking with ventilation is important. Compression to ventilation ratio should be maintained at 30 to 2. Further on ventilation will be discussed in the other module. So, in summary, it is important to follow the steps of CPR. Identifying a patient with chest cardiac arrest is crucial. Knowledge of the basic anatomy is essential to perform the correct chest compressions. And chest compressions are the most important component of CPR 
and hence have to be high quality and effective. Ventilation and defibrillation are other key components of CPR and will be discussed in other modules. Thank you very much.